Okay, so we got to talk, meet the family who owned the property we were working on today, and they were really nice. They were they helped us out, and uh, their two older kids, their son and their daughter, they worked with us too, and that was pretty cool. We got more work done than we probably would have, and um, it was really hot today compared to yesterday. It was probably because of the humidity, but. Um, the, the husband was talking about that too at the very end. He was like, um, uh, it's really hot. I can't believe y'all are out here still. And he even invited us to come inside and we got to talk to the family. And they told us a little bit about uh, what happened during the fire. And they said that they saw the smoke in the back there and people told them that um, uh, people from that area were coming to where they were and we're just gonna wait out the fire there. And 10 minutes later, they um, came back and told them, you have 15 minutes to get out, uh, or else you're gonna go up and smoke, pretty much. And um, they only carried a couple of things like laptops and phones and a couple of pictures from their walls and stuff, because they thought they'd be able to come back and get the rest of it. Um, they didn't, though, and they ended up sleeping in a Walmart parking lot in their car. and. Um, the lady, uh, don't remember her name, and that's kind of bad, but um, she kept telling us how she would lose a lot of hope when, um, after a while, when she saw all the devastation and stuff, but then she'd see volunteers like us, and her hope was renewed and stuff, and I thought that was pretty cool. And then uh, the husband talked about his experiences with his lungs, and um, he was a smoker, apparently, and um, so he had this weird thing in the top right corner of his, one of his lungs. And his pastor told him about it, but no doctors could actually find it in there. And uh, eventually after the fire, he came back onto the property and was working on there. And because of all the smoke and ash and stuff that was still in the air, uh, his lungs collapsed. And he was... The wife was praying to God, apparent, uh, she said, and um, she said she just, God told her about this thing in Austin, this hospital there, and when they got there, uh, the doctor on call was a lung specialist, and so they did that surgery and they found the thing, the growth in his lung, and uh, it saved his life, which was pretty cool. So even... And it's like our motto, out of chaos comes hope, so.